So as you can see, the AC is good and working. <laughs> so yeah, hold on, I gotta turn on one more light. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ellie, if you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with the Purpose. So if you are new to my channel, I upload three videos, or I switched it to four. I upload four videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So as you can see, your girl got the lights on and you might've even heard the AC kick on. We got it going. We're letting the baby hairs live their best life today. Okay, as I was saying for today's video, I have a no brand, um, makeup tutorial slash chit chat get ready with me. I've seen that Taylor Winnett do this and Jessica Braun and I was like, that's fun and challenging, especially for someone like me, who's so used to telling you everything I'm using and what I'm doing. So I'm gonna try my hard to just chit chat, do a couple life updates and just things like that. So I'm in a sports bra because I just finished working out. It is 5.50 in the afternoon and I'm filming because I have time and my life has been hectic. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this while I just tell you guys what has been going on. Okay, so last week, Ethan started school. His school, he attends, um, the school he attends is like a charter school, which is basically a free, um private school kind of i guess you could say it's kind of like that but it still registers as like public school but you have to apply to get in and things like that and they like like they're very picky about who they let in so his school started but they only started online and that's for the entire school he's not a part of the lubbock isd or cooper isd or friendship isd which are just some isds that we have around us his school is a standalone school so their schedule sometimes matches up with the isds around here and sometimes it doesn't so while all the other schools were going back to school at school his school was only on, is only online so Ethan is five I have a three-year-old and in December King will be how little King be two so I have a five-year-old a three-year-old and an almost two-year-old so you can imagine what my life is like trying trying to keep the younger two away from big brother as he does his work last week was really really hard so he started on the 17th today's the 24th that i'm filming this so it is it was last week was rough and if you seen my weekly vlog from that week you would know that i had a mommy meltdown because it was a rough week and i just wasn't fully prepared for what it was going to require of me and how I was going to keep the other two entertained because I don't like just sticking the boys in front of the TV all day and I don't like just giving them their tablet all day and yeah I can disable the internet to where they only have to play their learning games but I still don't want them having that much screen time and they're in a phase where they don't want to play outside and I, I don't mind that because it's way too hot and I don't want them taking their cups outside because Lord knows where they'll put it, what they'll, what they'll put in it, and if I will ever see it again if I let them take it outside. So it was just, it was a really rough week and Ethan like trying to get him adjusted. So even today was a struggle, but whose Monday isn't a struggle? Like, whose Monday isn't a struggle? So I wasn't too like really stressing about that, but it was rough trying to help Ethan guide him. Cause he, I mean, obviously he's a kindergartner, like he still can't read like, how to follow instructions and things like that. So he's still learning like sight words and how to read small sentences. So he's not gonna understand his teacher when she says, oh, go to Schoolology, you're gonna go to these resources and you're gonna do this and that. So I have to sit right there by him. And not only that, but if Ethan's not comprehending something, it's not like his teacher can actually physically be there with him and help him. So that's what mama is doing. I, Brian and I, 
we do want to homeschool eventually. That has always been a part of our plan and a part of our wants. And our original plan was to homeschool after, the soonest we would do it is third grade, after third grade, so fourth grade and up. The latest we'll do it is after elementary in general, which is fifth grade and, or sixth grade and up. But the earliest is let them go to third grade, pull them out. And the latest is let them go to fifth grade and then pull them out their sixth grade year. But um, with the way everything was going with COVID and just the way the world is going and what they're trying to teach your kids and things like that and what they're trying to instill in your kids, we were definitely considering pulling them out earlier. And I can say that I'm glad we didn't because I now know for me and where we're at is it's not the best time, especially not while Brian's at work all day and I have two other littles still running around the house, having to worry about what they're getting into and then trying to school the other one. Now, maybe, who knows, maybe when it's time for Bryson or King to start school, I'll be able to do all three of them by myself and King won't have to go to school at all. But I know for right now, like I can't have all three of them home right now. Not with two of them being, not being occupied. And I don't want to send them to their room with their tablet all day, you know? But yeah, things were just crazy. Um, how, I guess that's pretty much <laughs> like that update. I guess we could talk about my hernia. So I am now almost, so tomorrow would make two months. So eight weeks that I am a post-op for my hernia repair. And I still have like a very little bulge, but I know it's just water that will be absorbed over time. And if it eventually just never goes away, I will have to go back and they will have to see what's going on and probably let the water out, the fluid out, um, which I'm hoping I don't have to because they'll have to open me again. So we're hoping that that goes, or I'm hoping that that goes away, but I have started working out. So when I reintroduced myself back to working out, I did wait the six weeks and the first week working out i did a 10 minute workout every other day and then i did the following week so my second week of working out i did a 10 minute workout every single day and then the fall the third week i did a 20 minute workout every single day for well, like monday through friday or five times a week five to six times a week and then the last last week i did a 30 minute workout i think it was six times a week, five to six times a week. I work out five to six times a week. And today, this is my fourth week working out, right? No, it's my fifth week working out. Wait, why does that not sound right? So am I nine weeks post-op? Maybe I'm nine weeks post-op. I think I'm nine weeks post-op because I think this is, okay, every other day, 10, 20, 30. Yeah, this is my fifth week working out. So I guess I'm nine weeks post-op and I'm doing my two-a-days and that means that I'm working out in the morning, like a 10 minute workout. And then I am going back to the gym starting tomorrow. I did two home workouts today because I forgot that today was Brian's rest day, but I decided that that might be best that we have different rest days. So that way we can both actually rest. That means on his rest day, when he gets home, I put the kids to lay down to take a nap. And then I lay the kids down to take a nap when he gets home and he gets to relax. And that is good for everybody. And then on my rest days, if I do a different rest day than what he's on, he gets to take the kids to the gym and mama gets some alone time. But on my rest days, I'll still be doing a 20 minute stretch video in the mornings, but I won't go to the gym in the afternoon. So I don't know, it's been feeling good. I did notice the first time that I was, um, when I first started working out, I realized over that six weeks, how much strength I had lost. Like I was doing 10 pound dumbbells and up for every workout, except for shoulders. Shoulders, I was still using five to eight, sometimes 10, depending on the workout. So for shoulder presses, I could do 10, but for like front raises, lateral raises, I had to use five to eight, eight max. So, when I started working out and I couldn't even bicep curl eight pounds. 
I had to start all the way back from the beginning and now I'm back to doing one set. If you know what I'm talking about. If you, if you work out, you know what one set is out of three. I can do one set out of three of 10 pound bicep curls, but I can do two sets with eight pounds. So fifth week of back to working out and I definitely feel like I'm getting back into the groove of stuff. I uh, flat, I did something earlier that made me feel my, my bicep and I was like, oh, they're coming back. Like, And I've also been, speaking of protein, I need to go get a protein shake. Um, okay, so I have been incorporating a lot of protein. And so before I got my hernia repair surgery, I don't know what my body fat was and I don't know what my muscle mass was, but I do know that I was 246 pounds. And then after um, we've had our scale for about two weeks, I've been working out for five. So after about two weeks of getting back into working out and incorporating more protein into my diet, I had lost 10 pounds. So after my surgery, so after getting the hernia repair surgery and my food starting to get back on track with digesting and me starting to eat less and things like that up until like so the first eight week after eight weeks after my surgery i lost 10 pounds so i went from 246 to 236 and this friday i weighed myself again and then so a week ago my body anyways i've lost 0.5 or I've lost 1.5% body fat and I've gained 0.5% muscle mass and I've lost another pound. So I am now at 235. And I think it's just so crazy like how fast your body's like anxious to work out. And now granted I do take supplements. I'm trying to recreate this look, this look right here that you see trying to recreate that look. I'm not going to be telling you which eyeshadow palette I'm using, but I want you to take a guess. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know what eyeshadow palettes I have. So I'll give you a hint. It is my favorite memory eyeshadow palette. If you watched my video all about my eyeshadow palettes, I'll link it up above. That's the eyeshadow palette I'm using. And I know I'm cheating by telling you, but I don't know. I guess it's fun for you guys to guess. So let's get into trying to recreate this look but um yeah it's been good at getting back into working out so what have you guys been up to like what is y'all's life like getting back trying to get back to normal with this whole pandemic and school i feel like once this election's over like everything will calm back down um ethan's able to go back to school september 8th and let me tell you, this mama has learned what's for her, what vibes with her, and I trust in God to protect my child. And so if he gets COVID, I know God will see him through. And if he doesn't, I know it was God. So I'm just trusting God through it all. And he will be going back um, September 8th to school. He does have to wear a face mask, but I bought him some really cute ones from Target. If you've been looking for face mask, check out Target. They have two packs for four bucks and then you don't have to pay a buttload for these people who are making them. Go to Target and get a two pack for $4. And they're the cloth ones, not the disposable ones. Oh, did you guys notice my brushes are clean? Took me 30, it took me an hour to clean my brushes and sponges. And 30 minutes of that was only sponges. I was like, this is insane. So I've been trying to clean my sponges as I go because boy, sponges just, it's just like, why? Can't decide if I'm gonna have to cut the crease or like cut the halo or if I'll just be able to go in. Besides, this is looking a little bit, ooh, a little bit out there. I need to do my eyebrows. I'm going to, nope, can't tell you what I'm doing. Can't tell you what I'm doing. This is so hard. <laughs> so apparently, everybody but me in my house. <laughs> everybody in the house but me is asleep right now. And it's lovely. And I'm just doing my thing, playing with my makeup. But now I feel like I have to be even more quiet because if the boys get up, Brian's not awake to deal with them. So I gotta be super quiet. 
do this the same as the other eye because that's always my struggle is getting these the same who else so just gonna tap that with my finger to make sure no can't tell you what i'm doing dang it and somebody's woken up how did i know that was gonna happen i really hope it's even close the door close the door be quiet close the door be quiet close the door and be quiet i feel like i did the center a little bit too I forgot to mention, but I did clean my face with witch hazel before I applied makeup after working out. I always try to do something. You know, I noticed that I'm losing weight on my neck because you see like, where I used to have like, I guess neck rolls you could say. It never fails, one lash always lifts. No matter how patient I am with putting it on. Yeah, we're just gonna let that be, let it lift on its own and then I'll put it back down. I don't know what I was saying, but you can definitely tell I'm losing some weight around my neck area so how do you guys feel about like my current like everyday makeup routine videos because it's like i always film one and then all of a sudden like i'll i'll have to be in a rush really fast and then I'll do my makeup a certain way that day and then it's like I have a whole new routine because I love how my makeup came out that day and how fast it was. I may have to mix this foundation because it's not... I thought since my skin was a little bit more oily, it almost makes me look ghostly. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I really think that this foundation needs to be applied with a brush. But at least I'm not gonna have this makeup on while I'm gonna go cook dinner with full glam. So how is y'all's life going? Like are things getting back to normal for you? Did you guys have to leave work or anything like that? Are you guys able to go back to work? Like what is the dealio? So, oh, that's what I was saying. Like, would you guys still wanna see, even though like I just did uh, how I do my makeup every day like do y'all want me to keep doing those because it literally does change like all the time all the time like literally filmed that video one day and then in that same week I did my makeup super fast and it looked beautiful and now I'm like this is my new everyday makeup routine so do you guys want to keep seeing those or should I just like title it something different like super fast makeup for moms or 10 minute makeup tutorial or makeup on the go like I don't know I used my hands that day which is something that I never used I used a CC cream and then I used all cream products and then just set underneath my eyes and was out the door and applied a gloss and it was super cute and easy this would have been a good shop my stash video because using a lot of products I don't reach for all the time. I love how your face just starts to come together. Like at first you know, eyeshadow and stuff be looking a little bit wonky. And all of a sudden finish your face boom because I was like okay this is not looking anything like what I was going for in the picture I wish she had her eyes open in the picture so I could see what the lower lash line looked like but she didn't so I'm just gonna go with the flow I love doing looks that pull me out of my comfort zone and make me 
try new looks because I would have never thought to put no crease color and just two colors together. <laughs> like, So Ryan and I went out on a double date this past uh, weekend and we tried, I, we tried um, care.com and I liked it. I thought that it was going to be like kind of scary, I guess you could say, but it was really good. I'm glad we tried it. Like it makes me excited to go back to go out on more dates and I can hire the same girl now because now I have her number and the boys were great with her. She loved the boys like and I actually only even tried care.com because one of the ladies at church told me about it and she was like, I use that for my kids all the time like that's what we use when we want to go out on a date and i was just very skeptical girl because like you know strangers watching your kids like that's that's scary but it was good and i'm glad that on our first try we had a good experience and now we have like a babysitter that that's her job and so we can rely on her whenever we want to go do something fun so what do you guys think of this eyeshadow look so far like did I nail it or did I nail it? <laughs> like, you know, people be doing like the funny nailed it, like they mess up and I like nailed it, but like, did I legit nail it or did I like, you nailed it. <laughs> mm. Something's not vibing with this foundation. Okay, in this mirror, it don't look so bad, but in that one, I don't know. I don't know, man. I think this is just a little bit too dry for me. Maybe my skin hasn't got as good as it thought as, as I thought. Pimple right there, and one right here. Don't know what I used. I'm really starting to think that Mary Kay CC cream breaks me out. Because I feel like every time I use it, I get a new pimple. And that's because, like, literally just yesterday, my skin was perfect before, I, or getting a lot better before I used it. Didn't have that one breakout. They were all healing breakouts. Does anybody else just shake liquids because they're liquids? Like, you know, they don't say shake well before you use them. You just shake them because they're a liquid. Like, I do that all the time. Okay, guys, so this is the completed look. Let me know what you guys think. Did I do good recreating this look? Did I completely fail? I feel like I did all right. And I got a lot of colors kind of on point. The picture that you guys seen was you was was done using Kylie Cosmetics products. I'm not sure exactly what products, but I didn't use any Kylie Cosmetics products. Like yeah, so that is it for today's video, you guys. If you enjoyed this actual chit chat, get ready with me, with me not explaining anything that I was doing and not talking about makeup, like let me know down below. Let me know if you wanna see more of these. If you haven't already, you guys, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button. And remember, I love you guys, but Jesus loves you more. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.